Gemini. I'm here to give you a message of the moment where we dive in and grok the energies in play. This is a timeless message. So whenever you receive it, it's perfect timing for you. And we're just looking at whatever wants to come out. We're going to leave that up to spirit as far as the directive and the information that comes through. This is for any significant Gemini placement. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Pluto. A prominent placement in that third house. Or if you are Sagittarius Rising, that makes you a Gemini descendant. And you may find a lot of resonance with this message. We're going to keep this to the point. It's going to be like 15 to 20-ish minutes, okay? We're really trying to keep these as a more condensed view. They'll be coming in more frequently, all right? So let's see what's coming in for you. I felt really called to open up with the Sacred Rebels Oracle for you just to sort of kind of like get an overarching theme of your experience. So I do feel like there's something you're rebelling against. You're kind of going your own way with this thing. Um, you're letting your freak flag fly. I just heard that, okay? So you might be doing something kind of like unexpected. People didn't expect you to do this, okay? And there's something that you're really like, you're digging that, you know? <laughs> that you kind of like threw people a curveball. All right, I like it, Gemini. Let's see what's going on here. What do you got as a basis of the matter? Seeing the true you. Yes, I think there's something that you've been doing a lot of reflecting on. And maybe you're just in a position where you want to explore yourself. And there's something here about really challenging your comfort zones. This is an important point for you. You know, it's like there's some way that you're trying to like break out of a box. And it's almost like this framework that you've been working within that's starting to feel like a little too confining for you. I feel like this has something to do with your creativity, you know? There's there's something that's become almost like formulaic with your creativity that's just not working anymore. And I think that this is about you kind of like stripping away, um, I don't want to say pretense, but that's the word that comes through, like just stripping away this pretense and just letting what you have to express creatively coming through more raw, more unfiltered, you know, you've gained this insight through a lot of deep reflection. There could be a special creative project you're working on that's inspired by some really deep emotional process or spiritual process that you've gone through. Okay, so let's see what's coming in with this for Gemini. Spirit, what is the message of the moment for Gemini? What is the message of the moment for Gemini? What is the message of the moment for Gemini? What is the message of the moment for Gemini? Whatever you're doing, it's really innovative. You haven't seen it done before. I feel that this is something that, um, you know, it's a bit risky, okay? You're, you're, you're kind of pushing it to the edge. But this is what is appealing to you about it. You feel like you're showing a side of yourself you haven't really shown before. Okay, what do we got here? Softly, softly, the tender touch. This has big like Quan Yin vibes for me. Trust yourself. Okay. And we have new birth, guarded vigilantly. Yes, look at this. This has something to do with some process of emotional transformation that you've been through. And I feel like there was something that you went through that was really heavy on an emotional level. And you felt like there wasn't the right space held around it. There was somehow this compassion piece that was missing. And you recognize that in order for you to really complete this process and feel like you can kind of like tie it up and put it behind you there needs to be some level of witnessing here so people can understand what your experience was and there's something about your creative voice coming forward to give expression to what maybe you had a hard time finding the words for or maybe you felt people just weren't interested in hearing your side of a certain story but there's something very transformational happening here. And I think you understand that this is a very potent time of new growth for you. And so whatever you're working on here, you're really like, you know, you're guarding it. And maybe you even shared this creative vision, this idea you had with somebody. 
And they might have kind of like laughed it off or told you that that was a mistake, but there's something here about you really trusting yourself and your own vision. And I feel like in trusting yourself and your own vision, there is so much growth that comes through it. Some of you have turned to um, a more kind of nature-based spirituality. This could have been something that was inspired within you through spending a lot of time in contemplation in nature. This could be, I'm getting like rainforest vibes or, you know, connecting with wildlife or um, being in an area that really is just sort of like away from all the hustle and bustle of civilization. But I feel like you're very much guided in this regard. You may even feel like you're connecting with animals more deeply. You might be finding that you're working with, if you have any kind of like um, native uh, ancestry, you might be tapping into some of the totem medicines and approaching your life from a more shamanistic angle. Some of you are even exploring shamanism. You may have met a teacher. This could be a teacher that's like um, from South America. I don't know why I'm getting this. It could be um, also a teacher like from Peru, you know, something along these lines, or maybe there's some type of plant medicines you're wanting to do a little journeying with, or you did go through some kind of journeying um, with plant medicines that opened up your consciousness in a new way. It, it resolved something for you. For those that that applies to, there was some kind of trauma you were able to really integrate and heal. And through this, you were able to find a sense of compassion that actually gave you an opportunity to release. Again, even if it wasn't through plant medicine, I feel like there is this nature component coming into play. And I'm feeling very strongly it has something to do with spirituality, like a nature-based spirituality. And it's given shamanism to me. Some of you may have even been working with some kind of therapist or a psychologist who employs um, shamanistic techniques in the work that they do. But I feel like what you're bringing forward, it's wise for you to trust your own intuition about this. It's wise for you to um, follow through with what you're creating here because this is part of you really experiencing the healing that you need. There's something about you need to be witnessed in this. And I feel like a lot of growth comes through from this and also a great deal of abundance, all right? I'm going to go ahead and do a cut of the deck here just to see what we got. And then we'll dive in with some more cards here. We'll see what we're drawn to. Okay. Restore and replenish, okay? So this could be something that's coming up on the horizon. Some of you are about to go on retreat. Maybe you're going on a vision quest. You've never done this before. Uh, there's this piece about almost like vulnerability here. Like willingly though. It's entered willingly. Like a gestation point. It's sort of like you're going to do this so you can kind of be born anew. It's like it might be very symbolic for you. So again, I'm picking up this shamanistic piece. So you might be journeying somewhere, you know, somewhere rural, somewhere out in nature, somewhere where you can just be alone and you're just doing a little vision questing and you're using this as a time to integrate your experiences. I almost got like that, like kind of like writer's retreat kind of vibe or, you know, where you just go off somewhere in the woods and you just really dive into your creative process to see something through and what comes out of it, it's like this rebirth energy. It actually opens up a whole new chapter in your life and a new creative direction too that I feel like a lot of abundance is going to come from this and a lot of growth. Whatever you're creating here, it's really powerful. Those of you who are connecting with some kind of um, shaman, you know, um, or doing some kind of shamanistic work, this may be like a guided journey, all right? And you may be doing this very intentionally to um, almost symbolize like a spiritual rebirth you know there's some kind of power that you're meant to claim from the experience that's usually what a vision quest is about it's about embodying a new sense of power that will carry you forward in the next chapter in your life some of you are getting into holistic healing and this is part of that journey it's sort of like a psychological um, integration point and then there's something that's going to fuse 
creatively in the work that you do that comes from this experience. What else do we got here? Why did I want to, I wanted to look at the bottom here, so I, I have to see. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. Okay? So yes, again, there's this sense of like dropping in, getting downloads, you know, there's the birth of something here. It's, it's in its gestation stages, but eventually it will have wings that, you know, this thing will take off. And some of you may feel it's very ancestrally guided. It's like in your DNA. So again, if you have any kind of like native roots, indigenous roots, I feel like this is really waking up inside of you. And as you explore your roots more deeply, it's bringing you to this place where you're starting to integrate some of those spiritual practices and it's giving you a whole new direction to follow in your life, especially with something you're creating. There's something creative here. I'm just noticing beyond the mind, the heart beats and with that piece coming in, I'm just like feeling like the beat of the drum and and how in many, um, you know, tribal traditions, like that beat of the drum, it does symbolize like the beating of the heart. So some of you are getting into percussion. Some of you are starting to work with uh, frame drums. You're starting to work with hand drums, you know. Um, there's something about this or perhaps like some music that is very percussive is inspiring you. And this is very different for you. Um, it's leading you in a whole new direction creatively. Hmm. I also feel like there's something deeper awakening here. And it's something that's emerging in the heart. And it has everything to do with grief being like a doorway. Like there's something that you are integrating. It's very, it's very deep. It's very deep. And on the other side of it, there's some kind of like, higher inspiration like musing energy that comes in and it pours through you creatively and it's the seed of your healing let me see what's on the other side here faith in the process all right yes again i got this piece look at the wagon you know it reminds me of childhood and there's like a little birdie on your shoulder a little birdie told you you know hmm you know, I don't know why. I it makes me think of the story of Cinderella, the true the true fairy tale of Cinderella where Cinderella um finds strength in the mother. You know, people always think it's this fairy godmother. It's actually a tree. Um Cinderella actually asked her father to bring her home the first branch that his head hit on his carriage as he was riding home. And she was very specific about it. And he brought her home a branch from a hazel tree. And she planted it out in the backyard on top of her mother's grave. And she watered it with her tears. She had so much grief around the loss of her mother, you know, that she she just nurtured that that hazel wand, essentially, with with her tears, with her grief. And she would go and speak her problems, you know, to this hazel branch that was planted on her mother's grave. And as she did, it began to grow and it grew into this beautiful tree and it was a giving tree. And the thing about the giving tree is that it was what blessed her with all of her gifts, you know, her fancy dress to go to the ball and and everything wonderful that transpired in that story, it all came from that connection to the mother. So I'm getting kind of like a dualistic message here. For some of you, you're resolving something with your mother and it's really deeply rooted in your childhood. And this is coming out creatively through some kind of creative project. This also may have inspired you to go on a deep inner journey of transformation that might involve psychological components like working with a psychologist I also feel there's like this shamanistic approach to whatever you're doing. Some of you are straight up aligning with a shaman. You're aligning with a teacher. And this is helping you integrate a lot of your experiences. And you haven't experienced anything like this before, but you're just kind of having faith in the process. And sometimes it does take you down to some deep places inside of yourself where you might encounter a little vulnerability or fear, but you push through and something beautiful awaits you on the other side of it, okay? 
So again, I get this piece. You're connecting with nature, just like Cinderella did. And it's the nature that supports you. And it's the nature that takes care of you. And when I think of the mother, I also think of Mother Earth. And again, the, the roots, you know, the, the roots, the lineage, the ancestry, what's awakening in you. And some of you have lost a mother. And I wish to just offer a lot of comfort and love your way if you're integrating a loss like that because that's pretty heavy or maybe you already had your mother pass a while ago and this is something that you're integrating or it could be in some way you just feel like you're not able to connect with your mom and you're really feeling the loss of this there's something about connecting with the earth that helps you really feel held by that same kind of mother energy and it nurtures you and it restores your faith and it gives you strength and it's helping you through a really difficult passage that's bringing a lot of healing and creativity on the other side of it that will absolutely support you and bring not only an abundance of growth, but I also got abundance in your life. So let me see. I feel like pulling out super awesome future cards for you. Let's see. What do we got here? This could be in relation, again, to a trip you take. Um, maybe this is something that really came in for you at the close of the year around that full moon that was in Cancer. That Cancer full moon also represents that quality of mother, that sense of home. This could have something to do with your mother. This could have something to do with home. This could be wanting to travel home for those of you who are maybe at distance from your mother or just wanting to feel that sense of kinship and connection again. There could be a Sagittarius factoring into your situation. There might be something you're transforming here emotionally. Um, maybe this person is, you know, shooting their shot in a direction that um, is going to help kind of like navigate what's been a difficult terrain. Maybe you are like going somewhere as a result of this person's inspiration, you know, maybe they're advising you to kind of like go and talk to somebody or go and, and drop in at a specific like retreat area, something like this. Some of you may be working at a recovery center, right? Recovery may be a very important part of your journey, or you may be dealing with somebody who's actively working recovery. And so this has also caused you to sort of reflect on the situations that you have that kind of get provoked by that, you know? Some of you may have grown up in an environment where there was addiction in the household, and so to see somebody that you're really close to struggling with this, it brings up a lot of personal stuff. Either way, though, it still feels like there's a very cathartic process happening here where there's some kind of transformation. It is a building block for your future, and there does seem to be like some some trip is very important in regard to this. I think you're trusting your intuition about this. You know that whatever you're experiencing now, it's significant. There's some big transformation happening here. And it's something that's happening in phases, okay? It doesn't happen overnight, but there's a lot of growth here. And for some of you, you're really connecting with this mother essence, especially in regard to spirituality. So um, you may be turning to more of like, um, a rooted kind of spirituality. You may be learning more about the goddess. Ooh, this just flipped up. As soon as I said the goddess, look at infinity. There's something here that is bringing you back into a sense of power and it's giving you an empowerment to help you digest old experiences so you can have this sense of transformation. And there's this abundance that comes out of it. There's a closing of an old cycle that puts you in a position where you finally find like where you belong and who you belong with too, you know? Um, I don't feel like it's a totally solo journey. Yeah, it's interesting. You could be dealing with somebody who was born in the year of the pig in Chinese astrology. There's a building block again. Um, you may have felt like this person was kind of just all focused on themselves and what worked for them. You might have even thought they were a little bit selfish, you know? Look at, isn't that interesting? Look at the woods, okay? So maybe you're like talking to this person about, you know, you want to take some time for yourself too, you know? You need to have the same experience to kind of like 
have the freedom to go off and do your own thing. I don't know if there's a cabin in connection with this or the woods, like heading off somewhere where you can kind of just like drop in, have some time to yourself. You may even be so inspired when you do this that you decide you want to do homesteading. Like maybe you're thinking of getting off the grid or kind of like heading in a different direction in terms of, um, you know, how you want to sort of set up your life moving forward. There is this piece though, like retreat energy. Um, I do feel like there's some kind of trip, you know, heading off. It feels like alone though, you know, even though it's alone though, it helps bring you into alignment with somebody. That's what I feel. There's some kind of healing happening here. Okay. Um, some kind of integration work you're doing. And this could be like, if you are in a relationship right now, you might just need a little breathing room from each other and you might realize how healthy this is for your relationship. Cut of the deck energy here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And I cut right again on that moon energy and it's coming in with illness here. So again, somebody might be in some process of recovery. Um, this may kind of put you in a position where you, you're on your own for a little bit. I do see a trip in connection with this, all right? And this might be kind of surprising as it all goes down. But I feel like whatever happens as a result of this, it may seem strange and a little unusual. I got almost this like, it's really, really interesting. There's something about this like almost time bending quality to it. You know, it's like, it's like a time warp, you know, time almost just seems like, how can I describe this? There's a timelessness to what's happening now. Maybe you're starting to really feel the march of time and how precious time is. And so you want each moment to just really be so imbued with a consciousness that you don't miss any of it, you know? Um, I think you're trying to get really present with yourself and what you're feeling. And maybe there's something that's a little shocking about this. Like maybe somebody does let you know that they're struggling with something or maybe somebody's health takes a turn, you know, um, for the worse. And you feel like, you know, it's a real shock to your system. Some of you, you know, may have somebody close to you pass or deal with a really serious illness. And there's some peace here, though, about moving away from the situation to kind of like get your bearings, process what you're feeling, process your grief. And there's something that comes out of it that sets you off on a brand new adventure. It's nothing you can anticipate right now. You might have been afraid to look at this situation for a while. You might have had your head in the sand, but I feel like you're facing it squarely. And there is something about moving forward and potentially moving forward to a new home or for some of you, returning back home to your parents, specifically to be close to the mother. I keep getting this, okay? But there's a directional reroute that happens here. And in the process, you find your way. You close an old cycle and you begin anew. And I think you'll be grateful for the journey when you get there. Trust.